Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to DevOps Lower YouTube channel. So uh, if you haven't subscribed this channel, let's subscribe it. So I have added multiple videos about DevOps and uh, DevOps tool set as well uh, on the cloud as well. Uh, so you can uh, just subscribe that if that is not subscribed yet. So previously we have uploaded videos on Kubernetes, then Docker, Linux related commands or shell scripting as well. Uh, there are multiple videos are added on the cloud as well. So in today's video, uh, I'm going to talk about Jenkins. So Jenkins is also one of the important tool in DevOps. And uh, basically Jenkins is used for the continuous integration and continuous deployment purpose. So it has support for multiple integrations, like we can integrate that with multiple tools and uh, it, it has required plugins level integration. So with this uh, particular video series, I'm going to add uh, multiple videos or multiple tutorials which are related to only Jenkins. So to start with, uh, I will explain like what is Jenkins. So that will be our first topic in which will become in some uh, next videos. So in that, I'm going to cover like why the Jenkins is used for and uh, what is Jenkins, why we should use Jenkins only, what are the alternative tools which are there in market. Uh, if we, we if there are multiple tools in that CI or continuous integration part, which tools we want to choose and why Jenkins uh, we need to select in that case. So that part I'm going to cover in upcoming first video tutorial. Then uh, I'm in the next subsequent uh, video, I'm going to talk about how we can set up Jenkins. So let's say for learning purpose or for production use case, if we want to install the Jenkins, how we can do that. So that part also uh, we are going to cover in second video tutorial. So we can do the Jenkins setup in multiple ways, like we can do it on terminal or we can do as a native installation in any operating system. We can do it as Docker container as well. Then uh, once we have set up uh, the Jenkins, how we can uh, do the administration part of Jenkins. Uh, so that is also one important thing in if we need to manage the access control for the Jenkins, how we can do that there should be some limited access control for the jobs or uh, for the Jenkins admin users as well. So how to do that or which plugins are supporting that. So that part we are going to cover in third Jenkins video tutorial. Then fourth one is uh, if we want to set up the Jenkins by using Docker container, how we can do that? What are the prerequisite for that? So that we are going to cover in fourth video tutorial. After that, once that is done, so this is also one of the major use case we should know uh, for the DevOps user who is managing the Jenkins setup. So we should have the data uh, for the Jenkins primary setup mounted to uh, on particular particular path or there should be mechanism like in case of uh, locker issues we can easily revert our jenkins setup and that jenkins setup is highly available there should be no any blocker to the teams who are using the jenkins correct because if uh this ci part or that jenkins part uh is used by multiple users and that is not up to date or that is not up and running uh, you should have some option to get that jenkins data uh up and running and your setup should be fully functionable in that case. So how to do that or how to achieve that particular use case that we are going to cover in this fifth Jenkins tutorial, which is setup of Jenkins by using Docker volume. Then <laughs> there are thousand plus or 5,000 plus plugins uh, Jenkins has support, but how to manage that 
plugins and what are the best practices for the managing plugins that is also one of the key thing which devops every devops engineer should know about who are managing the jenkins setup so there are some set of practices like plugin should be installed with some reuse or version should be supportable we should have the backups as well so so that we can revert that existing plugins in case of uh, it, it's create the problem or we can try it on test setup first and if that is working as expected then we can try it on the production so how to manage that or uh, from where we can install the Jenkins plugin. So that part will be covered in that particular session. Then access management is also one of the key thing, like uh, if there are multiple jobs of the Jenkins and we need to give the access for particular jobs to the particular user only, how to do that. Uh, that uh, is also one important aspect. Then, uh, in Jenkins, we can add the multiple secrets or uh, highly secure information as well, which we have to use for the Jenkins job that we can add in secrets and uh, we can integrate that in Jenkins job. So uh, from where that need to be added so that we can, uh, we, we, we are going to cover that in session eight as part of this Jenkins video series. Also, uh, as part of multiple automations, like there are multiple use cases where we require scripting automation, like uh, we need to delete the Jenkins job or we need to be clean up older jobs. So how to do that? So Groovy scripting automation is helping there. So uh, in ninth session, we are going to cover that part, how to achieve the Groovy scripting with the Jenkins and how we can write the automations uh, for the Jenkins Groovy scripting. So that we are going to cover in this ninth session. Also, uh, we can create multiple types of jobs, which is like freestyle jobs or pipeline jobs in Jenkins. So uh, how to do that or uh, which are the use cases uh, when we need to select, like we should to go with freestyle jobs and we should go with pipeline based job. So that is also one important thing when uh, you need to consider like if you are implementing new jobs for your automation or you are implementing the new jobs for your continuous integration and continuous deployment flow. So what are the types of jobs? How many uh, different types of jobs we can create and how to create that? That also uh, we are going to cover as part of this video series. Then uh, Jenkins is providing support uh, where we can create pipeline based job or multi pipeline based job by using Jenkins file. So what are the configuration required for that and what is the prerequisite? So you should have the knowledge about the Git and Git integration in that case. And uh, by using the Jenkins file configuration, we can easily do that. So we are going to cover all these topics by implementation with practical demo environment. Uh, in upcoming video series as well uh, monitoring is also one of the key area so let's say you have the lot of Jenkins jobs with you and you need to be managed that uh, then uh, there can be scenario like uh, your Jenkins setup is uh, giving some errors or it's not behaving as per the expectation or slowness is there so in it in that case, you need to debug that what is wrong happened with your Jenkins setup and uh, how to monitor that or how to debug that. So in that there are two plugins which are providing uh, this monitoring functionality. So that also we are going to cover in 14 session Jenkins monitoring by using a uh, plugin. So uh, I hope you understand what is the uh, next setup uh, tutorials uh, and this Jenkins uh, uh, sessions. So uh, in upcoming uh, next few days, I'm going to upload these multiple videos around these various topic of Jenkins. So uh, I hope means uh, you have 
subscribe this channel uh, if the, uh, you haven't subscribed it let's subscribe it uh, for more upcoming video series so uh, yeah thank you